Ladies and gentlemen, our last match tonight on Centicore. First up, ranked 45 in the world. Her fifth appearance here at the Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships. Please welcome from the United States of America, Sophia Kennan. Sophia Kennan enjoyed a resurgence in 2023, but so far, 2024 has been a little trickier. Just one win from her five events this season. The former Australian Open champion hoping to find a bit of form here in Dubai this week. Next up, ranked 22 in the world. It's her eighth appearance in Dubai. Please welcome from Romania, Sorona Kirstea. Sarana Kostea did not have a great time in Australia, but since arriving in the Middle East, she's put together some impressive performances. Wins over Maria Sakkari, Karen Garcia, and Sloan Stevens means that she comes into this event full of confidence and hoping to defeat the former world. Garcia and Sloan Stevens means that she comes into this event full of confidence and hoping to defeat the former world number four. Well, welcome back to Centre Court, final match of the opening day of the main draw in Dubai. Experienced Sarana Castella, ranked 22 in the world, taking on Grand Slam champion Sophia Kennan. Found some form in 2023 after a couple of very difficult years. Dropping outside the world's top 400 at one stage, back inside the world's top 50 again. She has suffered some tough defeats so far in 2024. The American lost some close matches and hasn't really been able to get going. It must be the week where she gets her season up and running. Castella continue her recent good form. Fascinating way to end the day's play here on Centre Court. Know what to expect here, Steph, because you know we know how good Ken can be. We know that she's enjoying it. A resurgence certainly did last year, had a really good season, you know, considering how difficult it had been for a couple of years. So it's good to see her back at the right end of the rankings. But yeah, some difficult matches this year, some surprising defeats, hasn't really got going, suffered some of those tight losses that became far too frequent a couple of years ago. So a big chance for her to try and get her season started here. Yeah, it's the beginning of the year and then yeah, if you don't get all those wins it can be difficult, but I think it'll be good for confidence again those big wins and play uh, pro tennis. As we know, she had a few years more difficult, but she's a Grand Slam champion and she's able to put that tennis also for Christea. She's been uh, up and down in the last few weeks, but she's a great competitor. She'll put a lot of ball in the court, so uh, I'm expecting a great match. Yes, some big wins for her this year yeah. against good players. 33 years old, huge amount of uh, experience behind her. She made her uh, first appearance here back in 2009. She knows what this event is all about. You know, current ranking 22, never been in the world's top 20. A little bit surprising that she's such a good player, won a couple of titles. And she had a really great run early last season as well, Miami and Indian Wells in particular, quarterfinals and a semi finals there. So, you know, she's capable in the big event. She does rise to the occasion. There's not many top players that she hasn't beaten at one point or another. So, you know, if she plays well, then Kennan's going to be up against it today. Yeah, she's a tough competitor. Sophia Kennan wants to qualifying in Abu Dhabi. Her opponent made the quarterfinals. First round exit in Doha as well for Kennan. She's played a lot of close matches. That match against Mary Bushkova last week was a really close one. Could have won that. Had a tough draw in the Australian Open. She drew Igish Fiontek in round one, which is not uh, not ideal, you have to say. In 2023, made that final in San Diego towards the back end of the season. And that was a, a real sign that she was starting to make her way back after such a difficult couple of years. Is there in better form? Slight favourite for this one. That feels about right. Currently the higher ranked of the two players. Stay is ranking just below Carmen Garcia, who was the 16th seed. So 